Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I got uh, this smoky look today. How I got this, uh, it's like a slightly smoky. And I'll be using, yeah. So if you want to see how to blend your shadows and get this look right here, just keep watching. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. And I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to um, prime my lids. I prefer a concealer over an eye primer only because it does give me a fuller coverage. I do have um, like veins and stuff on my eyelids. They tend to get a little bit red, so this just covers a little bit better. Um, so I'm just blending that out. And I'm going to go ahead and set my lid with the lightest shade in the palette. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre in my crease. Just this is uh, going to be my transition shade just to soften the look. Um, you always want to go in with a transition shade when you're doing eyeshadow so you don't have a harsh line. This will help just um, blend everything together and make it look a little bit softer. And then you want to go ahead and build up the color um, as dark as you like. I mean, you could go darker with this. You could go lighter. With a transition shade, you want to keep it um, a little bit softer. And then the shades you go in with next, of course, go a little bit darker. All right, so now I'm going in with a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to um, take that orange shade and pop it right in the crease. I do want to keep this shade in my crease, but I will take it a little bit higher because I do have a hooded eyelid. Now, if I was to put it directly in my crease, you won't be able to see it once my eyes are open. Um, so if you do have hooded eyelids, it's a good thing to take it up a little bit higher than you normally would. All right, so I'm just blending those all together. And I'm blending down because I do want to create a little bit more definition to where the um, eye focuses on the center of my face. So just blending and blending and more blending. And I'm going back in with that E27 brush from Morphe just to soften any edges. And then I always take a step back to see to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going in with Love Letter, this pink shade, and I'm just taking this pink shade on the Sigma um, E25 brush and I'm packing the shadow on my lid first and then I'm going in really light and just blending that out. And when you're doing eyeshadow, if you're doing an, um, an eye like this, you do want to pack the shadow on the outer corner of the eye and then blend in because if you go to blend in everything, it's just going to get muddy. And it's not what you want. That's what you want to avoid. Um, if you don't have this brush, there is a dupe for this one. It is the Morphe um, 433 brush. I swear it's like the same exact brush. And once again, just taking a look back. And now I'm going back in with the um, blending brush. And I did not add any more product. I'm just blending out what's already there and what I have left on the brush. Okay, so now I'm going in with Vermeer on my lid. And I'm just packing that on the lid using a, um, what is this one, a Sigma E56 brush. This is a really small shader brush. I just like this one for applying shimmers to the lid. And I did not wet my brush. And once again, when you're packing the shimmers on the lid, you do want to take a step back to see what you're doing to make sure once your eye is open, you can see the shadow. Okay, so I'm just blending those two shades together just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm going to go in with a um, Sigma E45 brush, and I'm going in with Cypress Umber, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner of the eye. And really lightly, you want to build up your darker shades. 
just because you don't want to go in too heavy and then it's going to be um, pretty much hell to blend. So yeah, start really light. So I'm packing this on the lid and then I'm going to go back in with the tapered blending brush. I believe this one is the Morphe 441 brush and just blending that out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other lid. Okay, so just keep blending. I'm going back over the edges just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And still blending. Okay, now I'm going in with raw sienna and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. And the brush that I'm using, it's uh, one of the like, Kylie brushes that I got in a kit. But it's it's very similar to the um, the Morphe 433 brush. So it's a nice blending brush. I just like this one for my lower lash line. So I'm placing that all on the bottom and then I'm going in with Love Letter with a Morphe 432 brush and I'm just placing that right on my lower lash line. I'm just blending it um, down a little bit because I'm going to go in with a darker shade just to give definition to the eye. Now I'm going in with that darker brown shade and I'm keeping that on the outer corner of the eye. I don't want to bring it in because it will close out the eye. And I got it on my contact. Alright, so I'm still blending. Guys, I'm telling you, you can never blend too much. Um, so now I'm just going to coat my lashes with some mascara, and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I look scary. So just coat those bad boys. And I'm using the um, House of Lashes Sephora Collection in Yvette. And now I'm going to go in with Tempura. 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 I think that's how you say it. Um, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. This is just a lighter shade. I didn't want it to be too dramatic, and I got it on my contact. That's not cute. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with an angled brush. This is the Sigma E70 brush, and I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like these kind of videos, leave me a comment down below, and I will start doing more of these. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me so far.